So I'm here taking a look at the latest version of Reddit for Windows 10. So this app has been updated late recently. Uh, we're looking at version 1.6. This is now the universal app that you would see across both Windows 10, which is also here. Obviously there's going to be the issue of trying to get around people prefer to use browsers on PCs instead of apps but it's nice to have this here there are, you would have thought maybe one thing that you could sync between the phone and the desktop would be that you could use um, you know you browse uh, on your phone you read your links and so on and so forth and then you go onto your PC and everything's read for you but that is a gold feature of reddit so that's not available um, anyway just minimize that so Actually, let me close this down because this was open previously. Let's see how fast this loads. Considering it's beta out, that's not. I don't think that's too bad. Well, okay, now we're loaded. So a few things have changed. Uh, before you have a splash screen with your uh, subreddits uh, and your favorite reddits uh, pinned at the top. It was a slightly different now. You have two ways of viewing uh, your your spreadsheet. You can either go into the menu here, which interestingly the hamburger, is, uh, whatever you're going to call it, is down here at the bottom, instead of up at the top, which you know is is nice when you talk about reachability. Um, so you've got subreddits here, which you can manually kind of move around and do what you want with, drop them here and there, add to favorites, so on. Um, then you also have this list here, which I will say it would be nice. If in a future versions, it could be a darker color, but yeah. In the evening, it does tend to blind you when you're, you're viewing uh, at night with all the lights off. But it's quite good. So, say for example, if we're going to look at a subreddit here now. So, one of the major changes from the previous version is now that if you want to view the comments, you just scroll up, and after a couple of seconds, it will load. It's yeah, it's all right. It's not bad. I mean, I, I don't find myself activating it uh, by accident too many times. So I'm going to go in here and change something. Uh, there we go. Ah, that's more like it. Okay, so back to the app. So swiping left and right is done here. If you were to swipe. In the center, nothing happens, which is good, so you don't accidentally do it. And of course, being at the bottom, I just need to move left and right. Easy to up and down vote, I guess. Yeah, loading, I'm going to need to find a logistic subreddit here to load lots of comments at once. So let's go to, for example, videos. Quite fast times here, going going back and forth. So 694 comments. So you can just press directly on the comments, and it will go straight to the comments. Now, in previous versions of Reddit, you would have to press back or find the top of the thing to go to the top of the, the post content. But actually, you can just scroll straight up. So just spinning through the comments, loading is happening. I mean, there we go. I'll probably blame that on my internet connection. Maybe who knows? It does seem to work. That's interesting, you could copy the text. Now, I'm not entirely sure, or you could do this in the previous version. Unfortunately, all of my devices now are on the <laughs> inside of preview. Oh, that's why. That's about all there is really to it. It's just your, it's just a nice Reddit app. If anyone sends you a private message, you will be able to do an actionable notification. Um, uh, apparently, yeah, so. I can attach pictures and such. There's a lot of, um, Looks like there's a lot of functionality in here that really you should probably look into. Ah, uh, strike through. Ah, uh, superscript. Well, what the hell? Ah, uh, nice. So you got all the text formatting options you could potentially possibly want. So there we have it. I mean, you've got all the formatting options you could ever want out of. A Reddit client, you've got the speed, you've got the features. 
you know, and this is just the beta as well. So, all in all, good job. Uh, I've been using Reader for quite a while now, and you know, I I really don't miss any features of the previous version. Um, now we've got all the favorites involved here. Uh, yeah, I mean, what more can you ask for?